Hello there and welcome to this PlayStation development tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to draw a line, we're going to draw a box and we're going to make the box move by the controller's D-pad, which is the arrows to left on the controller. So I've modified things a little bit, I've made things a lot more simple. So grab the two new files, the constants.h is going to be updated for every episode and grab the control.h as well and put it in here. So this is a blank main.c, this is a blank folder, not a blank folder, but a new folder in our PsyQ projects folder. So all you really have to do here is to include constants.h and it will take care of the rest. It will even take care of the drawing now. I'll show you in a moment. So let's set up our main loop, let's say int main. And inside of the main loop, we of course going to initialize. This is not defined yet. We also want a loop where we want to update. This is not defined either. And we want to draw, not defined, but this display is defined. Remember we did that in the last episode, as you can see here on the screen. I've just packed it into constant stage now. So you don't have to take care of the drawing. That's done automatically. So you can focus on making a great game instead. So let's actually define the things that are not defined yet. Initialize goes to void initialize. We need some parentheses. There we go. Void update and void draw. That is it. Now we should actually be able to run this and get a black screen. Yes, we do. If you don't want the black screen and actually want to put something on the screen, we need to initialize the screen. And we should get a nice blue screen now. Yes, we do. If you don't like blue for some reason, you can set the background color. Uh, to, and here you put in a color. Uh, um, and to make a color, you have to call the function create color, which takes red, green, blue here. So if we want to make it completely white, we say 255, 255, and 255, which would give us a nice white background color which it does all right so let's go for the line so to define a line we just say line 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 is an object so like all line is a structure as it's called in C um, so we of course want to initialize the line we say line equals create line here you specify the color of the line so we say create color let's make the line black and so here you say x, x1, y1, x2, x2, y2, which are the coordinates where you want to draw the line. So from this point to, to this point, let's say we want to draw it from 32, 32 to 64, 64. So now we have a line inside this thingy. So we want to draw it, we say draw line just plug in the line and it should be drawn. There we go, we've drawn a line. Now you can make a lot of fancy things. Okay, so let's go for the box. That's actually just a symbol because you just say box box here. And then you say box equals create one rod, create box. And we want to give it a color. We want to make it blue. So you say red, green, 255, which is blue. This is the same structure you say x1, y1, x2, y2. Let's draw this from, let's say 128, 128, and then 200, and let's say 64 and 64. Let's have a look and see how that looks. Ah, we're not drawing it yet. Of course, we need to say draw box, box. And we have a blue box on our screen, aim that nice now. Let's actually move this box around. So we need to work with the controller. And in order to work with the controller, we need to initialize it. So to that, say initialize pad. And that allows you to work with the pad. So before we read the keys, before we check if keys are pressed, we need to update the state of the pad so we can actually read the current state. We do that by saying pad update and it updates it automatically. So 
Now here you can say if pad read. And in here you put in the key you want to read. You can say pad one up. Then we can do something. So let's try to move the box. In order to move the box, we of course need to set up some coordinates for the box. So let's say int box x and box y. Let's set them to uh, the same as it sets the box x and y to here, 128, 128. Box y equals 128. All right, so when we press up, we want to decrease the box y by two, so that it moves two pixels up when we press up. And then we want to move the box because we updated the box. We want to move the box box, and here you specify the new x and y position of the box that you want to move it to, which is box x and box y. And you need to say that the box is equal to this, so that it will be equal to the updated box. So let's try to run this. Oh no, we get an error. What's going on here? Pad read is not defined. Oh yeah, sorry, it's not called pad read, it's called pad check. So if I press the up button now, you'll see that the box moves up. So you just created the interaction on the PlayStation 1. Isn't that nice? So let's try to make it work with the other directions as well. Pad check. Let's say we want to move down. As I just say plus two instead here. So now I can move up and down. Let's do it with the other directions instead, which is left and right. And you just want to modify the box X instead. Left minus equal to box plus uh, box X plus equals two. And you see I can move it in all directions. All right, so now we've actually made something move. We've drawn a line, we've drawn a box. In the next episode, we're going to burn this into a CD so you can actually uh, test it out on your own PlayStation, ain't that pretty sweet? So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, please subscribe, I'll be making more of this, and have a nice day.